I'm back again. Yeah. Uh, so. D yeah, August was good. So was July. So was every... Most months in um, 2022 were good. But, here's a question. August 2022. Where... Is the obsessive fan now? So, you know who the obsessive fan is? If you were watching me back in August, quite a lot of people were. They probably don't watch me anymore. But I was doing digital marble racing content back then. And um, specifically what motivated me to do it was um, my fan, Oofy Donuts, who currently goes by the name of X Space O. So, X O. Um, and he, like... I'm sure, like, at first it was fun, but doing the same thing over and over and over again just kind of felt boring after a while. And then he started, like, over-uploading and stuff, so I just quit the entire thing, and then he started overreacting, making videos about it, saying he might quit because I quit marble racing. And um, he, he genuinely said in that video that's currently being deleted, or has been deleted, no trace of them has been found, but he said that I quit without specifying that I quit marble racing, but he said he would be coming back to do some marble racing on his um, new channel, but he hasn't uploaded anything yet. So what's happened? What has happened with Oofy Donuts? Um, as far as I'm aware, he's just been busy with like school and stuff because as far as I'm aware, he, he is, um, he is uh, yeah, he, he should be in school, but has he, um, has he got his marble videos anymore? No, he, he deleted every last trace of them. But he used to check in on my channel, but um, don't know where he's gone. I'm, I don't really care. I value every fan the same, um, to be honest. All of my fans are valued the same. I kind of just, I like my fans. My fans are valued. I love having fans. And those fans all get treated nicely. And if, if you're obsessing over me, like, telling me in the comments, hey, go go watch my videos, like Oofy Donuts was, obviously, I'm not going to value you as much as some of the others. But Oofy Donuts genuinely, like, um, how do I say this? He's definitely not one of them. Um, he's definitely not one of my better fans. He's probably one of the more controversial ones, if I'm being honest. Um, and there's very few fans I can say that about. I think August 2022 was the first ever drama I ever got into on YouTube. And whilst it was a short one that just lasted in, like, a few days or so, um, it felt, it felt, you know, a couple of seconds after uploading that stupid video where I said I was quitting marble racing. Like, digital marble racing, not marble racing in general. But... I, um, I, like, um, upset him completely, and it was, like, I don't know if he was acting sad, but if he was, he was doing quite bad at it. Um, I remember, word to word, so one of my friends quit, and, um, he made an alt account called Educational Pie, if you remember that, you probably don't, because the account only lasted for a few days, and, um, the... And um, he tried to bait me into coming back to his channel again and whatnot. But I don't want to get into that. That's all in the past now. But um, have we amended? Pretty much. Does he still watch my videos? Not too sure. I don't really care if he does or not. I don't care if you watch my videos or not. I, I just care that, um, that I'm doing this for fun. Like doing content for fun and stuff. And is he still a valued fan? Absolutely. I value every fan, like I said earlier. And Oofy Donuts, despite all the controversy we've been in in the past, or controversy, um, I still value him as a fan because he is subscribed to me, don't forget. And um, he is my old friend now. Old friend, I say. I try, I try not to make friends with fans unless my fan was a friend before being a fan. Like, for example, Jeff Daufa, I go years back with him. So, um, like, date all the way back to, like, 2017 or something. So, um, I, I'm able to refer to him as a friend. But, for example, let's say, all 674 yeah, him. Uh, the guy who created the um, Robot Wars game, 
Now, I was my friends on Roblox. I I didn't I didn't know him personally, so um I can't really refer to him as a friend. Although we are friends on Roblox, don't feel offended. Um, I value all fans the same, except for the ones that um are of course my friends or absolute legends. Those ones are valued a little bit more, but all of my fans are valued quite nicely. I tried to value every fan the same. Haters get out. Um. I had a comment the other day. This is kind of just a general catch-up video. Now, um, I, I had um, uh, a comment the other day on the Woobox video that I made that, that now has 1,000 views, thank you. And um, I, um, and it was like um, someone saying they unsubscribed to me for not agreeing with their opinion. I'm sorry, but if you're like that, one, your comment is getting deleted, and two, you can't get mad at someone for for thinking differently. Like, I ranked the Epic Water Box really low down at, like, number 19, and someone didn't like that. They didn't like it at all. That person's never coming back, probably. But, yeah, this is kind of just a general catch-up video, really. I'm going to have them... Um, this video, which is a general catch-up, and my up-and-coming video that's coming tomorrow that is going to be a general gatch-up, which is um, um, a catch-up on my gacha antics and stuff. And I'm going to be talking about stuff like what I want to do in the future with gacha, dating back to some old stuff, and um, talking about all the hate towards gacha, and specifically looking at some people like DJ Cook, who I absolutely love, by the way. His videos are fire. But, I, I just want to say that, uh, uh, yeah, DJ Cook has been hating on the bad side of gacha, which I approve of. You can hate on the gacha heat, but you cannot hate on the entire gacha community. I'm sorry, you just can't. I'm one of the very few people that tries to make gacha content good. Well, um, that's it for now. See you tomorrow in my gacha up video. It's going to be a review video as well, and it's 24 minutes long. Hope you enjoy.